Okay, welcome back to another video. Oh my god, we haven't sat down together in, so well, what I feel like is too long. I mean, I know it's actually been two weeks, but for me, like, to not be posting on YouTube, it, it, it hurts my heart just a little bit, you know? Like, I feel disconnected with you guys. I was actually just thinking this. I was like, okay, well, I'll do, like, a um, like little catch-up. Those of you who have been asking me so many questions, I feel like recently, obviously, I've gone through, like, a big change. Now not being at uni, and everyone's like, how are you finding it? Like, this, that, and the other. So, of course, get into that, and, of course, where I've been a little bit MIA. But I actually realised I've never filmed an everyday makeup routine for you guys, which literally makes zero sense apologies about that i think we did like a tiktok first impressions tiktok viral makeup but i'm excited to share this one with you i feel like recently i've got my makeup routine down to a t so i ramble on too much we're gonna jump straight into it let's get going the biggest thing that i could actually tell anyone or that you will take away from this video is prep your skin i used to never prep my skin literally chuck anything that i could on my face and i've seen the biggest difference one in like my skin not breaking out as much because obviously when you have skin care on it's creating a barrier between your skin and the makeup but just the overall texture of what my skin looks like under makeup this is the garnier vitamin c brightening serum and oh my god i love it so so much i use this day and night they've got this one's the daily one it's only like three percent and then the night one i want to say is 10 percent this feels so amazing i then go in with the lancome genifique serum i just like how this feels under makeup again you guys know that i feel like i really struggle with fine lines on my skin so anything we can do to prevent the aging however moving on to the first question this is at what age did you finally notice your skin clearing up i'm 16 and it's worse than ever girl me too my skin literally used to be so bad and don't get me wrong i still have my breakouts by the way this is a glow recipe watermelon glow nice in mind dew drops i these are good these are good if you like a glowy skin and i won't lie i feel like my skin didn't like ever naturally clear up by my, by itself i definitely know that like as you get older like your hormones come like more into check and more into balance however me and my mum tried everything my mum saw how much i struggled with my skin and she saw how much it took a toll on my confidence not to say that like you can't like you can definitely feel confident in your skin still having like breakouts and acne and things like that like i completely get when sometimes it really does take a knock on your confidence starting off my makeup i'm going with my unicorn cosmetic fair brows if you follow me on tiktok you know how much i rave about this product i love it so much this is the only thing that will like slip down my eyebrows to get that like laminated effect and have them stay like it is incredible i'm gonna quickly zoom you in do, 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 do. but like i was saying me and my mum literally tried everything we went to the gp doctors online like home remedies and nothing really would do it i think there was one cream i was on at one point but i felt like whatever cream that i started my skin would then become like used to it and then not work anymore the only thing that did ever work for me was the contraceptive pill which i actually went on for the obvious reason and it wasn't actually to do with my skin however it did have a massive effect and my skin it literally probably it took a while to clear up because my acne was really really bad like it was just like boils of spots that sounds really like tmi but like that that is blatantly like how it was again as you can see here i still do have like a few breakouts but nothing nothing crazy by no means am i trying to say that that is exactly what you do because i feel like when you're going on the pill make sure that you're ready to go on the pill and it's for no other reason bar you're doing it for yourself if that makes any sense however i definitely feel like over the past few years my skin having spots it doesn't actually affect me in the way that it used to if i have one i'm like okay cool like i've got a spot i think as i've kind of gotten older i don't know spots just don't really like affect me in the way that like they used to which i'm so happy about and i feel really like good in my skin about that everyone gets them like everyone once in a lifetime gets them and i think that's the one thing you've got to remind yourself is everyone is in the same boat for brows i will let them dry down now before then i go in and fill them okay someone asked me what my favorite makeup product is at the moment and this is this bad boy this is the super stay with vitamin c maybelline 24 hour skin tint i have been loving skin tints i feel like there's been like a massive like trend for it at the moment but now when i wear like full coverage makeup like i just don't think it suits my skin i like to have like a little bit of like my freckles poking through and things like that it does have like that little bit of coverage and it just feels so lightweight on your face it is is by far my favorite thing in my makeup bag at the moment over the past few days because i feel like so many brands have actually come out with skin tints nothing has beat this like genuinely it also has such a gorgeous pearlescent in the formula itself so it's a little bit like charlotte tilbury e for mascara this is actually being at my ride or die this is the estee lauder double wear however i am literally like scraping it out i will say though i kind of i'm pretty sure that the fit me maybelline concealer is like a dupe because i know that this is a little bit on the pricier side so i kind of want to go back to that one and try it. again this isn't like a super full coverage concealer but it just really adds like the right amount of brightness without making you again look like you've got that like crazy like white under eye it's just kind of like what i prefer i'm gonna quickly go and wet my beauty blender this is the dose of lash one i know that everyone raves about the chloe cosmetics ones but i really like the dose of lashes ones 
if it wasn't for copyright on tiktok you best believe that i would be getting ready with like full full tunes going on okay so someone has asked how i'm finding like influencing full time but i'm also going to tie this into someone was also asking about like how my mental health is because it had a little bit of a knock-on effect i won't lie i feel like recently it <sighs> I did actually do a really video which might be coming out i think like basically i'm filming on judd's camera i left my camera in brighton right now so i actually can't do any editing i have like four videos filmed i just literally haven't found the time to edit to kind of kind of like get them out to you guys however i filmed kind of like a week in the life but more focusing on like how i'm finding influencing full time and i don't know whether to post it because i just don't know if it's coming across in the way that i want it to i feel like at the moment i have just been like in this kind of like upward battle with the whole like influencing side of things things i absolutely love it as a job i think it is so fun it allows me to kind of like be so creative however it's just so conflicting and i think it's because i'm so used to having a nine to five schedule in terms of like when i was going to dance college and i was at uni i would have that like security and i think like i am the type of person who does need a schedule otherwise like i'm left to my own devices and as much as i feel like i do i would genuinely heart my hand like without me trying to like say like oh like i have a great work ethic but i do feel like i have a really great work oh my god great <laughs> well like work ethic however like motivation and discipline it like it it flickers which i think it's the same for everyone like you cannot be motivated 24 7 otherwise that is just gonna like literally lead to a burnout like there is no way around that however having this free time leaves me so so conflicted and i think in this job oh it's just so weird i'm trying like i'm doing like as much content as i can in a day and i just like i feel guilty all the time about having this as my job i don't know i i just I, I i feel like at the moment i'm really trying to like find the right words to like communicate with you guys like how this is making me feel like i feel so beyond grateful that this is my job however i'm also like but i don't know it's just it's constantly leaving me like wanting more and i feel like i'm never doing enough in a day the one thing about this job is it's not monday to friday it is monday to monday like on weekends you don't stop so then it's trying to like find the balance between okay well like if i don't do anything on a tuesday maybe that's like my saturday day off but then if i'm not doing anything on a tuesday i'm feeling guilty about having that time off because i'm like oh it's just it, that that's where my head's at so i feel like at the moment i've really been like struggling jed's been so great um through all this he's really really been supportive obviously jed's been doing it like a long time and i think like i just didn't realize how much of a mental toll it would actually take on me doing it as like more of a full time as opposed to like a hobby and again i i'm saying this like with such gratitude in my heart and i do not want this to come across as me complaining or me putting other people in the industry down like no that is not it i just like as a personal thing that i've been finding that is what i've been struggling with i mean recently i was definitely like in my adjusting period when i was kind of like having a few mental breakdowns and i feel like i'm definitely getting like a better grip to it now and i'm really motivated to obviously do the best that i can for you guys every day like that is all i care about i don't know i don't want to run circles but that's just like a little taster again i'll let you know if that video does come out i just I really don't want it to come across that I'm complaining. I feel so grateful, it's just, it's weird navigating it. And I think let alone like now navigating my twenties, let alone navigating like finishing uni because like I feel like that, I could talk for years about finishing uni. It's so overwhelming. Mm yeah by the way this is the jordana t-shirt like bronzer duo basically you get the cream bronzer in the bottom and then you get the powder in the top and this is in the shade fiji and i have been loving this so so much i feel like it's so gorgeous this blush is actually insane so this is a new one from pink honey this is a sheer sun skin like i think it's called um blush fluid i want to say and this is in the shade raspberry ripple and i mean oh, and it is literally so gorgeous it's super reflectant as well in terms of like when it sits on the skin it literally looks so gorgeous and whenever i wear this blush i literally get so many comments being like where is your blush from like i need that now and i'm like it's pink honey babe i'd love to be a little bit of a plug another question that kind of like ties in to the previous one also you can see how pigmented this is it does take me like a little while to like kind of like buff it blend it in and then like not to be so crazy is that one of you still doesn't know what you want to study in september and babe that is so fine i'm pretty sure i've made my decision to go to dance college like very very last minute i think the thing is though is one thing that i do not agree with our system this is me getting all political is that you have to make such like big decision at such a young age like i guess that 18 like you are going into the adult world and maybe like you should 
have like some inkling on what you want to do but I think like it's so overwhelming to kind of have go from having like what you do your A-level so you've got like three different things going on and then sometimes like you just don't know and that is so fine and then obviously like there's such a pressure maybe to go to uni or not to go to uni or maybe get into the real world and do work do not beat yourself up if you are really struggling to kind of like make a decision on that area it's so annoying because people say that you should really specialize in what like you want to do it say if you do go to uni so that you can come up with like a better chance of getting a job however when you genuinely feel so lost and you don't know what that job is that maybe a broader like course would be like great for you so definitely don't be too harsh about it because being there it's very hard i'm gonna quickly go in and fill my eyebrows before before i powder down my face but like i was saying i definitely can't really like i can't really help you're making a decision however all i can say is make sure that you there is definitely nothing wrong with taking a gap year i think it's so great to kind of like just really chill and just like make sure that you're making the right decision like if you are going to uni like it's a hell of a lot of money to be spending on something that maybe you're like completely not unsure on but i also think like definitely pick something that you love like at the end of the day it's going to be something that you obviously spend a while studying or that you like spend a while like doing and achieving so like you definitely need to make sure that it's kind of like where your passion is lying otherwise it will be a hard journey again like when you know you'll know all all things come in due course time like i definitely like i'm a firm believer in that and i think even if like it does go wrong like okay cool like at least you've let that like that journey will still sculpt you as a person as opposed to like not making any decisions at all this is also the um the revolution precise brow pencil i literally love this so much it's basically a dupe for you know all the rough eye like brow pencils it's that but this is four pound as opposed to like i think it's like 18 pound for a brow pencil which a little bit questionable okay so the two powders that i love is the huda beauty loose powder no one can put me on anything other than this i have tried so many loose powders but this is by far the best however with the skin tints recently i've been loving a pressed powder and this one is the charlotte tilbury flawless filter one it's not super powdery on the skin so you can still like allow all of that like goodness and the dewiness to like show through that was so the wrong words to be using but there we are so another question i got is if me and jed have any upcoming like plans collaborations that kind of thing which we do like blatantly we do and i feel like me and jed have been so hush about this just because we've like really been taking the time to kind of like what is the word design there's a hint and we are so so excited but like we say we're like we're really just trying to like get things perfect i'm not going to give too much away what i'm going to say is that it will be coming within the next month and i really hope that you guys enjoy it me and jed have definitely like it's been so fun like doing this little project together it's something that like we haven't really done before oh my god i can't get this hair out my face we are very excited to show you what do we be doing for powder bronzer and then of course gonna grab the jordana tisha duo i just think this is so handy to like buy both products at once and then have it like sit together as well like in a makeup bag you actually can't go wrong and this bad boy is 50 grams of cream bronzer do you know how long that is gonna last me and i want to say that this was 17 pound so a little bit on the price side but normally when like but when you like buy the two products together anyway it's like it's just same amount really someone has also asked me what my girl dinner is which i absolutely love this trend on tiktok right now i think it is so funny and my girl dinner is oh my god people are actually gonna hit me for this however i it would be spaghetti and marmite which I know some people are going to be like, oh my god, like, what are you on about? That is not right. However, if you are a Marmite lover, please, please try it. Also, I haven't made that out of thin air. It was actually a recipe by Nigella, oh god, by Nigella Lawson, if um, you remember that cooking OG. It tastes so good and it's so simple. Just put some pasta in a pot, like a teaspoon of Marmite, a little bit of cheese so good i also just like to run this like through my crease just to like deepen a little bit depth i feel like I have my eyes are so dark so i just like any way i can like brighten them up best believe that i'm there doing it a little bit under the lip as well a little bit of definition down the nose i feel like i'm such like a lazy girl when it comes to makeup i'm like, I'm like yeah that'll do like anything slap it on my face i'm done for lippies i've actually lost all my lip liners all my lip liners however i will be blatantly honest with you i stopped listening to people's like lip liner combos ages ago because i finally realized that whatever like shade that you might think looks really pretty on like one person unless you have the identical skin tone it's not going to look the same on you so like, just bear that in mind if you think you have like a similar skin tone to me by all means try the lip combos however big top tip don't rest your money girlies this is a morphe liner in sweet tea but another one that i've also been loving is makeup talk so that is obviously really quite dark on my lips but then i like to go in with a lighter lipstick look like shade and then another lighter lip gloss probably should get a better lip liner but this is clearly too dark for me but here we are formula wise this nars lipstick is my favorite thing ever this is in the shade um i want to say dolce vita yeah and this is the oh my god that's too tiny for me after glow essential shine lipstick 
it's like a little bit rougey it's just like a really nice in the center of the lips type situation but it's like it feels so hydrating it is a joke bobby brown lip glosses oh my god i didn't know the hype until i was on the hype Ugh, these are insane so this is a crushed oil infused glass and this one is in the shade new romantic that is the lip for today i did just go ahead and do my lashes off camera your girl was filming an ad just getting it in um but this lash was the rimmel um thrill seeker pitch black mascara it's actually incredible i literally feel like i look like i have false lashes on my ends but i don't it's like somehow managed to like coat every single eyelash but like you know when like you want like a thick mascara but you don't like it going clumpy and then you're having spider legs like i just feel like this has added like the most like nicest like intensity to my waterline I'm, like big slay so yeah that does include this little catch up i hope i haven't rambled on or chewed your ear off too much and hopefully you did enjoy our little catch up i'm sure that we'll do another one very shortly i've got my diet coke in a cup this is actually the cherry pepsi maxes jed literally fills our entire like top row of our fridge just up with pepsi maxes and now he's got me hooked and this is my second one today i'm not one to drink fizzy drinks that's boyfriends for you make sure to comment subscribe like down below if you did enjoy this video you know you enjoyed this video and uh, <laughs> i will see you in the next one lots of love